My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to video games. <laughs> Let's play a video game. Start a run on Impossible, go to the Daughter of the Void, pick up the Corruption deck. Let's go in. This is my first time running the Daughter of the Void with the Corruption deck in Impossible whilst I've known uh, to remove Void Stones from my cards. So let's see how much that affects us. We have a Concentrate and enough. Okay, we have a, two different ways actually to get extra energy in this deck. That's interesting. Uh, we also have two different ways. Wait, two different ones. One way of benefiting from Overcharge. I'll probably actually make an Overcharge deck to start out with here with those. Uh, opportunity. Eh, I'm probably not really going to want to roll too much si uh, Salt Tide in this build if I can avoid it. And then Recharge for the Recur. Neat. Okay. So the thing is, discard builds are really, really strong with the Corruption build. It's like Null and Void makes a lot of sense here. So does Diversion. Null and Void or Diversion, which would I take? Diversion only really makes sense if I have the ability to discard things. And that's harder to find than things to benefit from discarding. Fine, I take Null and Void. We may end up using it, may end up not using it. First card each turn costs two less. The label blocks six each turn. Stealth and full energy at the start of the fight and 100% rage after Fury. Uh, I might just go the random common artifact here unless... Oh, I was about to say, unless the Soul Collector is very, very early on in this fight and it's not... Actually, maybe the... Okay, the Disheveled Salesman isn't even on this floor, so 300 Essence doesn't matter to me. Sure, taking the common artifact. Uh, untrustworthy Coin Purse. At the end of each combat, you gain an additional 20 Essence. Hey, no, half bad. Could certainly be a lot worse. All right, let's cut a Spirit Shield, a Cursed Shield... And a Darkness, put a Null and Void, a Enough, and a Pass Strike into the deck. We'll put in the Concentrate after it's upgraded. I mean, Yellow Void Stone could pretty much just go in anything, but at the same rate, there are a few things that will say, you know, trigger the Void Stone of this on discard. Uh, and I might want to wait for those. Rinse and repeat, recover the top card, get an Overcharge. Uh, we have a lot of things that give... Wow, even the build-up here gives us overcharge if we wanted it. Uh, counter, block two each time an attack card is played. Block three each time an attack card is played other. Uh, the thing about this is this deck doesn't play attack cards. All these unleashes are abilities. We're not going to pivot into a deck that's like half attacks, half abilities. It's just not going to happen. So the counter doesn't really have a huge amount of value for us. That enough isn't bad. Neither is the soul block. Uh, but it's against a battle plan on the northern side. Wow, actually, there's some plans here. So if we go up and loop down, we can take this path, hitting both of the treasures. We also get battle plan, we get enough, and we get soul block. All of those really good pickups there. Rinse and repeat isn't even that bad. Recurring the top card is just the card that I last discarded, and a lot of the time that is going to be something I want to pull back in hand. Um, or at least a lot of the time later on, it could be that. So if I am going to get both of these elites, I have to go for the top one first. That's the only way that that's viable. And if I'm getting both of these chests... Well, I guess if I avoided enough and soul block, I could go through the bottom and get that chest and then this treasure. Then that would be looping down here. I still wouldn't actually have the time to actually curl and get myself back up there. Interesting. So if I want to get both elites, this is redirect. When reshuffling, deal one damage to a random enemy for each card. Upgrades to two damage for a random enemy for each card. Uh, if we intend on running a very, very high discard deck, we are going to cycle our deck relatively commonly, and we're probably going to cut out a decent amount of the expelled cards, uh, which means that redirect suddenly becomes really, really good, right? Well, okay. Does it become good, or does it reach its potential? Because its potential may not still be that good. It's, what, two damage to a random enemy for each card. Average of, let's say, uh, 18 cards left in the deck by that point. Actually, you know what? Let's bump that up to an average of 20 because enemies do put Banes and Voids in your deck. Well, not Banes. Banes go to the top of the deck and they get discarded and scrapped so they don't actually go into the recycle. But you, you understand what I mean in the Voids, right? Um, also, this does become better, interestingly, as you add extra curse cards into your deck. Uh, weakness cards, rather. Because those exceed the maximum size of your deck. Interesting. Uh, so, 
a 20 on average, re-roll. So what, you're dealing 40 damage randomly split into twos amongst all enemies? For the investment of three, how long does the fight typically go for this character? Eh, could go reasonably long. We'll see. We'll see how fast our fights are by that point. There's a supernova up on the top as well as a dark mime, dark idol. So the idea is... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no. <laughs> we miss out a lot of value here at the end as well. Because I have to go to that position and then I have to choose either Cursed Item or Dark Idol and then just leave. I think my start is really, really solid. That build up and that counter don't really contribute much to me. Separated Soul would be nice. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I can't take it as well as get the treasure. And the treasure is probably going to have something better. Or at least hopefully. Uh, there's more Soul Tithe down here. Build up down here. Duck and Weave. That is really, really good. And I'm really sad that I don't have the ability to take that right now. So if I went... From here, down, across, across. I would be able to avoid one elite, but get the other one. That, up, up, across, down, no. That, up, across, down, up. Yeah, because, so like the best value actually may be ignoring this elite, missing out on that redirect, and then going down south here, because we get two more upgrade points. Uh, we also get a very important card. That Duck and Weave is actually huge. Then we also get a bolster and a build-up. And those could totally go in the builds at some point. Probably not for a while, but uh, totally could. Then we'd go up to this shrine, across that elite, across the merchant, and cut down in this direction. So we still have the ability to end up taking all of this value. Okay, hang on. I'm going to mark that path as well. As an alternate path. I'm going to mark that in red. So this... Is on both paths, but if we take this, the red path is... Yeah, the red path is going up that way. Nice. I feel really confident now. Really, really confident. Dark Acolyte, the Void Enchantress and Throat Cutter. Oh, wait a second. I literally just talked about the fact that you can remove Void Stones from things. I, I'll put the Void Stone in something next turn. Next, uh, next fight. My bad. I knew it, and then I immediately forgot it. Do I get any credit for having known it for a second? I'm gonna work up my corruption some before I actually really start throwing out the beats. Actually, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough to kill you. Venom Blade... I mean, you're only pumping this turn. Void Enchantress I could even kill instead. Yeah, sure, I'll go for a Void Enchantress first. Never done that before. First time for everything, you know? Oh god, another Dark Acolyte. Okay, I really don't like that I did that then. So we can block that seven. Hopefully I get that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to guarantee that I get that Cursed Shield. Just got something else instead. This ability is up every two turns. So really, I should be using it. Unless I think I am ending the fight that turn. Okay, double attack again. Don't love that. Half of our draws here ought to be good enough though. Nice. Uh... Urge one, and then hard play the rest. Yeah, I'm not killing this turn again, so I'll siphon past the card, then just kill next turn. Make our deck more aggressive. A perfect victory. We get the untrustworthy coin first. I mean, look, that's that's serious contribution. We got 58 otherwise. That's an extra 20 on top of that. This is an extra third. It's not half bad. Uh, Void's Kists. They upgrade to already be rigged. Yes, yes, they, they did used to do that already. Um, enough power strike, null and void. I mean, God, so many of these want upgrades. Like, everything wants an upgrade. All of these, getting the ability to be discarded for some value. Um, I want to focus on my defense. For, is, that, is that wrong? 
Those Void's Kisses are ultimately getting out of the deck. I don't think they are part, ultimately, of our strategy. Getting the extra charge of Overcharge there. Okay. You know what? I'm also give it... No. We'll block 11s more commonly than other effects. Whoa! We finally found one! A secret room. You notice a small crack in, the, uh, crack rather in the side wall of the room. Peering in through the darkness, you notice the crack leads to an open room. There's a secret room filled with treasures up there. I I have to pass up the enough, the soul block, and the battle plan just to visit this hidden room. Oh, okay, it's new. I have to do it. Two upgrade points and a bunch of rares. Definitely worthwhile, but still... Uh, purge to block 10 is really good. I'm just going to put the Ice Wall in the deck. You also get to upgrade to... I mean, it's it's worth it. It's just it cut the Overcharge theme out of the deck that I was just about to lean into really heavily. I mean, I just upgraded a card based on trying to lean into that build very heavily, right? So it's a bit rough. Um... Okay, uh, what, we just got the Ice Wall, you know what, I'm putting that in the deck, that's just gonna be a purge, purge card for us a lot of the time. Uh, and you know what, recurring a specific card and then just purging it again? Yeah, sure, that's, that's a way to generate 20 block on a turn with no other influences, so that's pretty good. Uh, you know, Null and Void doesn't really pull its weight in this deck yet, and then cut another Unleash out, Wretchage. I mean, at least I get the separated soul now. I miss out on enough and soul block. Soul block's bad to miss out on. That that hurts. Enough? I'm kind of fine missing out on that. And we got a separated soul instead? Okay, it could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. I'm glad we finally got to show off one of those rooms because I, I felt like I was going crazy. I felt like... I, I, I know these rooms were here. I've had them before. But they're never here when I want to show them. Leave Ice Wall in hand to just purge next turn. Love it. Get purged. Uh, unfortunately, there's no ability to gain... The stats there that I want. I'm going to get the Ice Wall back and just use it next turn probably again. Probably not play it, but at least purge it. Okay. I mean, enough is the perfect draw next turn, but I can't rely on it. Curse of Shield, Ice Wall. 32 incoming next turn. Yikes. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot more than you usually do, friend. I'm just a little concerned is all. Uh, I want to try and keep my perfect bonus here, if possible. Overcharge 2 for the next turn as well, so we'll go up to 3 energy. We only have to block 10. 16, I mean. Sorry, I misspoke. I mm. <laughs> really wish I could just discard the Ice Wall for 10 block right now. Thirty two incoming next turn as well. Gosh. I just need to kill the Blightwind next turn. That's it. I just need one of them down. The poison on me is pretty bad. Oh, recharge as well. Yikes. That's a recur a specific card. Uh, yeah, it's not even going to get a good block. Um, There's no way I get three kills here, right? No. No, that's not happening. Yeah, I'll take out one. Cursed, recharge, get another cursed shield out. 
I really needed Ice Wall or the enough in that hand to help me actually block a reasonable amount. Like that. That would have been the right turn to have. Uh, so he had one bad turn there. Oh, but it hurts so much. Okay, at least on this turn, we have enough into Power Strike. Get that damage. I don't really care about the Blade of Darkness. It is vulnerable. Oh, Mimic. Oh, my HP, though. Uh, I mean, getting enough out early is real decent. Cycle pass an attack for this first cycle. Deal three damage. You're a gold digger. Your AP is equal to the number of void stones I have in my deck. Thankfully, I only have one at the moment. Um, I'm going to bring back the enough. Just play that there. Big reason for that is just to keep the overcharge up so that the power strike is still powerful and striking. Kind of hoped I was going to draw more defense, but I really shouldn't have hoped that. My deck has no reason to make me believe that I would have drawn more defense there. Probably could have purged that and actually killed this turn. What are all these free turns I suddenly get? Oh, the enemy is actually reducing my essence constantly while this is happening. Rude. Uh, wow. Sift 3, reduce soul type by 1 for each weakness discarded. Purge or discard itself gives us Sift 1. So if this is in my deck and I Sift it, I just Sift another card as well. It's in my hand and I use it to sift. It's just giant sift value. One of the best things about Null and Void is just that it sifts two cards rather than necessarily it's the, the fact that it sifts or rather the, that it does damage alongside that. Death's Touch, Recur, Discard Card, Give Soul Tie 3. I don't necessarily want Soul Tie 3. Uh, separated Soul, I only really want one of in the deck and I already have a single copy of it. So I think I just take the what I need regardless of whether or not I end up using that. I'm going to upgrade to that separated soul. I'm also going to upgrade what I need. I'm putting the, the discard theme back in the deck. Or into the deck for the first time, I guess. Uh, let's get the separated soul and what I need into the deck. Cut two unleashed darknesses. I'm cutting my offense here because my offense does nothing for the first cycle of the deck. And in the second cycle of the deck, it's decently powerful. Um, so I don't need that many of them by that point. Merchant. <laughs> Okay, this motion could go really bad, and then I'm going to feel really bad. Okay, actually, this is fine, right? Sift, low soul tithe. I mean, a free sift is still pretty good, but I still don't have enough things that I want to sift to justify its value yet. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy on passing all of these. Repost is a little close. So plenty in a shrine. So if I gave up that duck and weave, I could actually get a shrine instead right now. What cards do I have in my deck that I want to dupe? I mean, Ice Wall's not bad to dupe. Um, by the time I get to that dark mime, I would also have a redirect in the... No, I wouldn't have a redirect in the deck because that would be the thing that I would be skipping in order to go to it. Shield, light it up, merchant. Yeah, and then go across and repeat. Okay. Um, I guess ultimately the question then is, am I going to be putting weaknesses into my deck? Right, because this Dark Idol is going to ask me to put three weaknesses into the deck in order to justify the rare artifact I'm almost certainly going to be trying to take there. God, it's possible we don't even have enough souls for the soul collector by the time we get there. Don't love that. 
Energy tap, the next card you play will cost zero energy. We do kind of want to put more expensive cards into the deck. This curse, the sift gives us corruption. I mean, all of the effects of this curse are kind of necessary for us right now to actually kind of hold our deck together. I'm going to take the kneecaps here. I need weak. Treasure Goblin, thank you. This is going to be some extra essence. Help us make up for the essence we don't otherwise have. Okay, recur one. What card would I want to recur at this point? I know. So I'm going to Void's Kiss. I'm going to sift past the what I need. That's going to get past a Cursed Shield for us. I'm going to use Recharge to pull back the what I need. Okay. Then I'm going to sift everything that isn't aggressive. The big problem with fighting this enemy as this character is you need to suddenly get a bunch of corruption so you can actually deal any damage. Before it flees. Don't flee next turn. Don't flee this turn. Don't flee. Ah! That's the worst. That's the most damage I can do. Well, at least we got a perfect fight, I guess. Oh, okay, it's Bruce. Nothing really changes about how the way we play against you. We don't use vulnerability or bleed. Every sick attack card is returned to your hand instead of your discard. We don't do that. For each bane or daze you suffer, delay block four. That's fine. Boots of quickness, three energy or less. Uh, at a volatile sidestep to hand. I haven't used the cultist's one, so for exclusively that reason, I'm going to be taking it here. Leave that enough in hand. Let's also sift past that separated soul. I may just keep this cursed shield. Yeah. It's not time to attack yet. If I expend too many of my resources attacking, I won't have many left over of what I actually need. I can purge that to actually drop a card out of the deck as well. Okay, I'm going to purge that, dropping a Cursed Shield. I'm going to recharge to get that Cursed Shield. Because then that plus another Cursed Shield is enough block. Um, I'm going to purge one and play one this turn, because we still get up to five energy by the end of this turn anyway. Okay, unfortunately, uh, Overcharge just wore off as well. Fifteens a piece. Yeah, I'll throw two fifteens. We finally got a black void stone as well, so that could really pay off with the other card, the responding card. Uh, that ice wall kind of wants to stay in hand right now, don't it? It expels after that. There's an enough in my next hand as well. I'm actually going to purge it. We're guaranteed to have a good enough hand deck stone. Get our enough out on the board. What do I recharge if I recharge something here? Nothing, right? 18 two times over. Right. Just get rid of the rest of the deck right now. some damage as well. <clears throat> we get up to three energy at the end of this turn. Oh, thank heck. I really leave myself many tools uh, in that previous hand, so I was a little worried there. I'm going to leave this recharge in hand as well. Maybe I draw ice. Ice wall. Nice wall. Use ice wall, purge that, and then get it back in hand. Purge it again. Play cursed shields. Uh, I mean, Separated Soul is now 81 damage. I mean, we're getting pretty close to killing the enemy. I'm going to drop a Cursed Shield here. We got two turns without damage because there's no threat incoming this turn. Fear and Vulnerable. It's fine. Could be a lot worse. One, two, kill. Eight. God, my souls are feeling really low. 
We may just not go to the Soul Collector because we don't have enough souls for it. It's going to feel really bad when we do that. If we do that. When we do that. What I need, two energy, sift six cards from the deck, reduce soul type by one for each weakness discarded. I'm not going to be doing the weakness discarding consistently with that, though. Recharge for recurring two cards. That's pretty good. Maybe if the power strike was upgraded, I'd pop it in there instead. Uh, cut another unleash and put another week in, or at least the first week in at this point. All right, Skeleton Mage. Bleak Contract. Gain two Corruption at the end of the turn. If you haven't played any attacks this turn, I am going to trigger that almost every single turn. Um, emergency Button. After turn uh, Battle Round 4. Ah, they no longer call them Battle Rounds. Interesting. At the start of your turn, tick this value up by 1 when it reaches 4. Uh, all enemies suffer 2. Weak, Vulnerable, and Slow. And it resets each fight. That is really powerful as well, though. Hmm... I need more corruption gain. We're just too slow otherwise. Um, I mean, I sift past my attacks first. I want to leave that ice wall in hand. Source not even going to be enough block by itself. Wow. I was really hoping we'd have some uh, sort of recall or some situation going on here, but fine. Saves us from that this turn. And I'll weaken you. Pop a Void's Kiss out there. Get my extra two corruption at the end of the turn also. I can defend next turn, I think. I want to get the Void's Kiss out this turn. So I kind of have to. So yeah, I need to not use my power this turn because I need to draw those five next turn. And then I use the Recharge to bring back a Ice Wall that isn't in the deck. Oh, Ryan. That's... Nice try, I guess. Let's get that enough out there, I guess. Uh, Sift past the separated soul. Do I want to... What I need past anything here? We got a decent amount of damage on the Unleashed Darknesses. Like, it's time to start throwing those out. So you know what? I'm going to purge the what I need to drop a Cursed Shield. I could recharge and purge the what I need in order to purge another card from the deck if I really wanted to. Sure. If nothing else, this is another point of corruption. Let's get past that Power Strike. I'm not going to be using him. I prefer the corruption at the end of each turn right now. That actually may be a cut. Uh, upcoming from this deck. Okay, that's not enough. I want to return some damage. Recharge two times here for damage. Yeah, let's do it. Do the damage on that one. And then pull it back again. Do it again. Five incoming next turn. Got confusion one, but... Thankfully enough block for days. Uh... This is beautiful. In fact, we get the Cursed Shield and Kneecaps on pretty much exactly the right turn for the Kneecaps to have turned up. Uh, the enemy is attacking for 12 next turn. Cursed Shield is not by itself enough to block that. So I'll try and make my next hand as defensive as possible because, again, this enemy increases their frenzy by one each time I lose HP. So, real important to stay on top of this. To the point that I keep another Cursed Shield with a shield. Oh, wow. Our draw is actually quite aggressive. So, sure. I'll keep this here.
Keep that enough in hand for the next turn. Purge everything else. Sure. More than happy with that. I should keep in mind that, like, this enemy... Th these are the things that I'm working on in the background right now. Um, in, in terms of improving my play at this game. The more that I encounter enemies like this, the more that I remember their specific abilities. Uh, and also their breakpoints. And that matters. Because the Skeleton Mage, if I can block 20 with a single card, I should always put that card in my deck before I fight the Skeleton Mage. Regardless of how well I think I block, because it's just... Huge value. Uh, I don't know if the enemy is attacking next turn. I don't think so. They attacked last turn. I'm going to drop that kneecaps there. I'm going to recharge a what I need back out of the deck. Purge that. Drop another card. Recharge the what I need back out of the deck. Purge that. Drop another card. I'm coming next turn is 20. Maybe I should have just left myself with a defensive card in hand. Nah, we're all good. Separated soul has our back. <laughs> uh, I like that we have a capstone to that whole build at the moment. Uh, bloy, bloy void stone. Oh, we got a bloy void stone here. Maybe we go for a bit of a bloy void stone on the right right. Um, I don't know what that is. That, that was effectively like my impersonation of... Someone doing an impersonation of a uh, a Kiwi actor, that is to say, a an actor from New Zealand, uh, who they think is Australian, and they think they're nailing the Australian accent. That's it's it's a it's a it's a deep one, but trust me, track along that entire line, it follows. It really do. Right, which of these do I play the most often? Because I can use it to actually discard other things. Can I discard synergies? I mean, honestly, <laughs> just shields. Uh, yeah, let's pop a redirect in the deck and cut the power strike. And overcharge really quickly became a no theme in this build. I'm sad about it because I really liked the, the idea of like starting with the overcharge and really building into it for a while, you know? Alas, it seems like it might be the better play for us. Sep soul out of there. Weakness into void skis. Um, double purge and pass on. There's another void skis. Uh, we'll hold the enough for net. It's twelve damage enough to start doing. That fortitude is going to stay with that enemy until they lose it. I swarm next turn might be enough block for me. Sure. Sure, I think that's enough damage to start attacking. Hmm. Just got discard. Well, I'll discard the what I need that I actually get a benefit out of discarding. Shame we didn't get the ice wall in hand here. I want that to be my next draw. Yeah, I want the redirect to be one of the final cards I draw. 26. Oof. Now I've got Ice Wall and I've got Recharge in the next hand. My block next turn is already already totally covered. Uh, 13 two times over. That said, I should try and make sure I have enough energy to play everything. You take an energy turn off. Now I... Redirect, purge, ice wall, recharge, ice wall. Then purge, ice wall. Then recharge, ice wall, and purge, ice wall. Yay! We full blocked. We did it. Um. Then I want to create the new draw pile. That did our redirect damage across the board now. Drop what I need, so you get to roll through even more cards. And then leave a Cursed Shield in hand, it feels like. Really feels like that's the best play here. Give myself some safety. Okay. 20 
22. That's not bad. Killing a red cap doesn't solve our problems here, but... 22, 23? Yeah. It's exactly enough to get the mainliner down. Got kneecaps and a couple of attacks left in the deck. Yeah, we should be totally fine here. Drop kneecaps and the cursor shields. Easy full block. Then, I mean, unleash, recharge, and unleash, which I'll use there as well. And I'm going to recharge a separated soul, just setting up the kill for the next turn. We keep our perfects. We get the battle progress down. And goodbye to the red cap. Yeah. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to cop the Void Stone back out of that, pop it into the redirect, and I'm going to try and sift through my deck so quickly that we get to the new draw pile uh, very, 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 very quickly, constantly. Now, I am going to need to support that with extra energy. I may end up putting even that Concentrate into the deck. These two Void Kisses don't feel right at all anymore. In fact, I'll happily cut both of those and just look for other sources of defense. Go the top card. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll take that. So there's the Dark Idol. The thing is, if I go for this Cursed Item, I can actually purge the Cursed Item, getting enough souls to go to the Soul Collector and uh, possibly still purchase something good. Or maybe the Cursed Item's good enough, and then I go to the Dark Mime in the North. Actually, yeah, that's our value. The second card you purge each turn causes all debuffs suffered to be reduced by one. That is a lot of value for us. We intend on purging to at least every single turn. That is every debuff the enemies can do to us. Removed one stack of pretty easily. This would also allow me to go to the north. If I went to the north, God, I could try and dupe that redirect and make this actually a straight up just Cycle my deck build? Oh god, a cycle my deck build. Oh, that appeals to me deeply. I'm taking it. I'm not suffering three voids for a single dupe here. I'm gonna pay with the souls. Okay. Well, let's cut another Unleashed Darkness from the deck, because that's not really what we do anymore. <laughs> now I wish I had Energy Tap. Now I definitely wish I had it. Oh, uh, yikes. Okay. I'm going to discard the Ice Wall from the top of the deck. I'm going to rinse and repeat, getting it back in hand. I'm going to purge it for full defense this turn. And then I'm going to redirect. I'm going to purge the rest of my hand. I'm going to redirect again. Set up. These enemies are going to try and make me draw my deck as well, so... Thanks for the contributions, I guess. Leave the enough in hand for the next turn. They're also including more Banes in my discard pile, so if anything, they're just making me more powerful here consistently. I appreciate it, I guess. Ooh, one enough. Uh, if I discard anything here, the redirect, I don't actually get to that redirect in time. Dang. That's my bad. That is to say, I don't get it to it in time before I actually go to the new cycle of the deck. Also about to miss out on that recharge. That's fine. I'm probably going to want to draw from it next time. That's fine. Yeah, it's a decent amount of damage it does, eh? Okay. Let's purge out the ice wall. I'm gonna rinse and repeat. Purge out the ice wall. Recharge. Get the ice wall. Purge out the ice wall. Play a curse and shield and redirect. Uh, I could significantly lower the incoming damage by just killing that target here. I think I probably should. Miss out on the second copy of the redirect there, but 
somehow I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, I'm gonna throw in enough. Double purge those. Separated soul, what I need. Ooh, what I need being at the top of the next draw would be really good. There we go. Leave space in hand for the defense. Come on, shuffle! What? No, I didn't like. Oh, no! Oh, that's actually the absolute. No, wait, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Right, because what I need will actually form the cycle. There we go. Uh, and then I can just get rid of Banes for a while, of course. Bane, Bane, Bane. So I don't draw into them. Okay. So you're going to take two damage. We're not going to perfect here, but this is, I think, a, like really good proof of how this deck works. Or at least how it can. Um, okay, 34 against the main liner. Uh, again, sift past those Banes. Unfortunately, that means I now can't use Rinse and Repeat because that will just get Banes. So then I guess I'm going to sift past Separated Soul and then I'm going to return the Separated Soul. And yeah, I'm just lining up for enough damage next turn. So we miss out on our perfect here, but come on, this has been pretty good. Uh, let's recharge the... It's null and void. Pop that for damage. Null and void needs an upgrade now. I mean, this, this obviously demonstrates exactly the desperate need for an upgrade, right? But... Oh, two upgrade points again. It's it's impossible to turn them down with this. Uh, unleash darknesses, become discard, bonuses, null and void. Still needs that upgrade I was just talking about. Um, let's repeat, getting an overcharge in it. Not bad either, but that weak seems really important. I have no other sources weak in the entire deck yet. Uh, yeah, that weak. That weak needs an upgrade. Masochist, recur to random non-weakness cards. Soul Tithe. Three, sift two as well on the upgrade. Mm, it's better. Uh, soul block. We finally find a soul block. We have the ability to take here. Unload is damage plus sift. I like the idea. Recur one. Gain or lose corruption equal to its cost. That's a really, really good way just to get back the ice wall again. Right? We gain full corruption and then we purge it. The it's here somewhere is actually like a really good replacement for a bunch of stuff. Um, apply one weak and uh, one slow. Upgrade stab, rebound, and then on discard or purge, you reduce soul tithe by one. I'm probably not going to use it for that either the second effect there, but slow and weak by one, that's also usable in a lot of fights. Uh, there's another null and void down there, though. Wow, you know what I haven't seen at all this run? A disheveled salesman. So I can't use my uh, all of the essence I've been getting from the untrustworthy coin post to actually buy extra artifacts, unfortunately, here. Okay, so let's go for the value path, right? Value path dictates that so far. Death's Embrace, Flesh and Blood, Double Dip. Whenever Soul Times are reduced, Block 2, Block 3 upgrades. Eh, I still don't really have good ways of including Soul Tithe itself into the deck. There's a second it's here somewhere. With the two it's here somewhere, as well as the ability to sift through the deck, as well as having uh as as well as having ice wall in the deck, I feel like we actually have like a, a, an off-kilter kind of block core going on there. I'm really, really pleased with it. Look, this is the opening of the path no matter what, right? Yes. Okay, so let's take this for the moment. Nothing I'm wasting out here, goods. Is there anything that I should have redirected the positioning of? <laughs> yeah, I've got to redirect in the deck. Um, not really. I think we're okay. All right, soul block. Gut Fiend, the Flesh Beast and the Exalted Warrior. Does the spell help us draw three, discard three? Uh, the fact that specifically we sift certain cards is actually pretty important with the curse. 
because that's how we set up things like the ice wall being in the discard. That said, redirect wants Let's Pray. Over six turns, this sifts two cards. Over six turns, this sifts six. No, 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 sorry. Six turns, three and six. Yeah. So it's definitely in his favor. Okay. So I want to make sure that I have the block for the next turn. That kneecaps looks great. I just want to set up defense in the redirects right now, right? So what does that mean I do? It means I leave as much sift as possible in this end and defend the next turn. So I lose Rinse and Repeat. Okay. Then we Null and Void, getting rid of the weakness in the deck for free. Get rid of any aggression pretty much left in there. Energy's pretty good though. I'm going to purge this. And leave a card in my hand. So we choke the draw on this turn. We go to five cards left in the deck. Okay, we did get one of the redirects. That's good. Purge the ice wall. Play a cursed shield. Redirect. Purge both of these and play the redirect as well. I think I have to. Okay, we got choked on the draw again, unfortunately. Okay, Cursed Shield for a Cursed Shield. We use a Recharge here to gain Ice Wall. We purge the Ice Wall using Concentrate here. Still only gets me to two energy, so I can't play the Redirect yet this turn. Which means that I have to wait for the next turn. And purging it just gets me one energy. Playing it gets us one energy, but purging also gets us a corruption. Oh, thanks for those dazes. It's really going to make our block up. Wait a second. Uh, the Cultist Ward actually heavily blocked us this turn. Thank you, Cultist Ward. All right. Let's go draw discard. Discard. Those two definitely. Okay. Then we redirect. Purge these two, redirect, and then we have enough left in the hand. We've got 18 cards left in the deck. Next time we cycle, we kill. I want to leave that enough in hand here, actually. I need extra energy for next turn is the thing. Don't like that, but we'll have to do. Don't love this, but again, it will have to do. Null and Void needs the, uh, the Void Stone. Just 100% requires it. Okay. So with weak, weak is 25% down. You go to three by three. Three by three means you deal nine this turn, right? So your reduction of uh, six. And then on a 13, that goes down to nine, right? So it's four saving this turn. save more than I can, or as much as I can, rather. Okay, leave the ice wall in hand here, too. Yes. 
guess, but nothing else. Okay. Because now we can... Null and void and null and void, I think, is the kill here. Null and void plus that. Gets a whole new draw pile and we kill. I, I like this, this redirect. Oh, wow. What lies waiting? Draw four. Gain soul tithe one for each ability drawn. This is such a good card. Inconsequential is good here too, though. Sith three, block X equal to the number of cards in discard. What lies waiting is draw, and draw is really, really hard to get. This gives you energy. It gives you, uh, obviously, more options in the same hand. We don't have much Soul Tithe reduction in this deck at this point. Uh, literally, we just have it from using the what I need to get weaknesses out of the draw pile. But also, our defense is, like, overly abundant. I am so, so happy to have that card. I want to upgrade it. I want to give it a Black Void Stone. Uh, Lost Spirit. Interestingly, actually, at this point, I think I cut the Unleashed Darkness. I put the What Lies Waiting into the deck, and I think I take one of the Redirects uh, Black Void Stones and pop that into What Lies Waiting. It's actually that important. I wish Concentrate gave four energy still. <laughs> oh, I find it so hard to utilize it. Uh, Soul Block, cut that for... Or rather, cut a Cursed Shield for that Soul Block into the fight. I mean, we're about to get Sift as well as Soul Tithe Reduction. So, I mean, what am I complaining about? It's going to purge that next turn for the full defense. All spirits are 50% damage from bleed. Yeah, nice. Uh, she's got a scud. Gives me that one. Then I will what I need. My way past pretty much anything that doesn't look like it's immediately contributing to what we're doing. Soul block can get out of there too. Separated soul too. I don't want to leave Ice Wall in hand here and just. No, 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 we let's pray. We try and go off this turn. That's the plan. Yeah. Purge Ice Wall, what lies waiting? Okay, uh, yes. What lies waiting again? Do I have any other way of generating energy at this point? No. Okay, so I have five extra cards in hand, so I can get up to a total of seven energy, uh, which means I play both of the redirect. Um. Then do I want to leave Null and Void in it or play Null and Void? No, I don't. Double purge? Sure. Right. Redirect number one goes off. God, that is so much damage. What I need... No, because rinse and repeat is really hard because of the... Anytime I discard something, it's it, it breaks the impact that I was usually looking for. Uh, that's what I need. I'll way through... I mean, like, I want Null and Void to get that Void literally just to be another card out of the deck taken, but I'm not going to be overly reliant on that. Ice Wall? But that's mine! Uh... Okay. Recharge Null and Void. I mean, I could get us to the new draw pile here. I wonder if that's actually enough. Regardless of whether or not it's enough, I don't think it's what I want to do. Hmm. Recharge. Block 
four. Okay. Okay, so the diadem is not lowering soul tithe. It's an important point to know because it does, uh, like it's considering all of these to be debuffs, but it's not considering anything out here to be debuffs. Even the things that are ne uh, negatively affect us, I guess, are considered here to be buffs. That's totally fine. I just need to know the nomenclature of those kinds of things. Makes it a lot easier to operate. Um, separated soul obviously could kill a target for us right now, but then we uh, die thereafter, and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna take this ice wall back out of the deck. Nice wall. That kneecaps is suddenly looking reasonable as well. It's <laughs> just uh, win the fight here casually. Uh, first things first. So null and void sifts two random weakness cards. That needs to constantly shuffle itself back to the top of the deck. Um, I'm pretty sure. So I, I believe that the reason that rigged now puts things back on top of the deck as well in the reshuffle is because I was asking in an episode if that's a thing that it did, and then it got changed to work like that. Um. So yay, because null and void was the first run I had after that that I started rigging the same cards and. It really, really started showing off. But yeah, that's going to be constantly getting us past the void now. As well as the second cycle, any trashing of my deck the enemies have done. Get rid of that one too. Um, I wonder if there's maybe a, an idea that I actually want a bunch of cards that have Expel in this deck so that we cycle the deck more quickly in order to trigger more of the redirects more quickly. I wonder. The Goat, the Vulture, and the Game... Strong group of enemies by the killer is important. Fine. Oh, wow. Turn one, really? Good gosh. Oh, what do I even do? I want to sift past a bunch of the deck before I even start using the what lies waiting, but I don't think we can do that. I think we just have to draw back to ice wall got enraged attack increase your frenzy by one and then attack okay so i do want to kneecaps out on you let's purge some cards and do that then okay I want to end up with three energy at the end of this turn as well. Leave myself with decent block available, possibly as well, if possible. If possibly, possibly available. I'm going to leave Rinse and Repeat in the next hand. So that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, we only have the ability to play that one redirect now as well. Yikes. Oh god, they're just getting stronger constantly here as well. We're on round two! Why are you dealing this much damage? Do things that aren't damaged for a bit. Also, like that early draw, if it hit a single one of the redirects, it would have been fine, but not hitting a single redirect made it real rough. Um, draw discard cards. Sure. there as well um i mean the, th the the horrible truth is i have to play some of these <laughs> otherwise i just lose later
week is about to wear off on the Vulture, and it's been super, super impactful in keeping us alive. So I'm actually pretty worried about that. Let's try and keep that up, I guess. 31. One more cycle of the deck. Oh, I mean, we got good defense in here. Oh my god, I was about to say. We got good defense in the next hand. Apparently not. Uh, we just purged Cursed Shield there. That's not what we're going to be looking for. Okay, let's recharge. Ice Wall, purge Ice Wall. Rinse and repeat. Ice Wall, purge Ice Wall. Play a Cursed Shield. Bottom card of the deck is enough. That's decent for the next turn. Or at least decent enough. I think 51 incoming next turn is untenable. I have to kill the midline target regardless. So I'm going to hit you. Then the first card I'm going to discard is going to be what I need. Then soul block. Right? And then the what I need is going to trigger putting the ice wall on top of the deck. I mean, it doesn't even need to go on top of the deck. It just needs to exist. Then I recharge, pulling the ice wall back out, purging that for some defense. Use Let's Pray. Uh, that kneecaps actually looks pretty impactful here as well. So now I'll enough, drop that, kneecap over on the other side. 19 incoming next turn? I mean, significantly less at the absolute least. And then I purge two cards, I play a redirect, I play two blocks, and then we watch them die next turn. The turn after next turn, I mean, sorry, uh, I misspoke. <clears throat> That's uh, my bad, I, it's, I got a catch in my throat. It's, um, <clears throat> it keeps catching dumb words and making me say them. Uh, let's d d d drop it again, same order. This one actually matters because the rinse and repeat is only the recur, the top card of the deck. So now we drop the soul block and then we drop the ice wall and then we rinse and repeat, bring back the ice wall and we pop that and then we use the cursed shield. Ooh, that recharge looks a lot better for the next turn actually. I mean, I'm pretty close to the point that I can just individually kill all the targets on the board, but at the same rate, I'm now kind of committed to, <laughs> to how this goes. I mean, I only have one energy. Sure. Okay, what I need. And... Wow, that actually sifted one card, and then it brought me to the new deck cycle to allow me to sift cards here as well. I thought it would only allow me to sift one. Huh. That's really interesting. So it always does it as kindly as it can to the player. I like that a lot. I mean, What Lies Waiting needs the upgrade. Literally just draw an extra card. It's huge. It's huge. Two extra cards with the, the buff that we've done. Uh, deal four times an amount... Sorry, deal damage equal to... Sorry, deal damage an amount of times equal to the number of cards in your discard. So routinely, this will be somewhere between... Uh, what? 18 cards in the discard? That's not going to happen consistently. Just, let's say between 10 and 15. So it'll deal between 40 and 60 damage for 30 energy. That's actually not good for us. We have Seversoul here, which is apply too weak. And when you discard it, it draws and discards for you and rebounds. But that duck and weave. I wanted it before and I still want it now. 
It's just like a huge upgrade on a uh, cursed shield for us. Foot in the grave is still pretty good here too. Literally just sift two cards. We need more things that give us defense when we sift. That's going to make it a lot easier to use those cards. Uh, cut a Cursed Shield out of the deck. Pop a Duck and Weave in. I'm also going to take one of the Void Stones and pop that into the Duck and Weave as well. Because that's very likely to be a card that I try and pull back and play multiple times there over. Um... What I need, I also pull back and play multiple times there over. And uh, I usually want it to have more cycling power. So sure, let's actually give what I need the blue void stone there as well. Okay. This is an interesting deck. Is it good? I don't know. It's interesting though, isn't it? Can't argue that it's not interest. Ooh, Dollars. Okay, I got a very expensive deck. Thank you, Dollars. Holy effigy. Lure all debuff suffered by one for each effort. No. Fractal Feather. Each time you play a card with the same name as a card you've already played this turn, block three. Now, we do have a homogeneity of our defense in terms of playing a bunch of Cursed Shields. It would also defend us on the turn that we set up the redirects a little bit. The keg of lucky rum is looking better than this, though. That that says just use a potion every battle, and I think a potion every battle is better than the fractal feather for us right now. Oh, baby. Redirects. Redirects. Hard purge. Sure. There's another redirect. What I need increased its cost. Yikes, everything pretty much increased its cost on us here. All right, let's pray. I mean, the enough has come out at one cost. That makes it easily the block that we play. Let's drop the soul block. That one there too. Um, so we drop a concentrate because we have to play enough and cursed shield if we want the full block here. Push that, play that, and then get rid of the what I need, dropping a cursed shield, I guess. Two more points of corruption for me. Man, Dollars is real getting buff. Love that we get the giant weaken out there. That purge plus that purge is more than enough for us. And then we have the what lies waiting in the deck. Great. Yeah, just a decent amount of damage right there. What of it? Let's use this null and void. Cycle through as many cards as possible. So we cycle through the what I need as well as the separated soul. And then the separated uh, cycle through the soul block as well. The extra defense. What I need. Gets a straw. What I need. Gets a straw. Uh, do I have the ability to generate the new draw pile again yet? Uh, no. If I got that recharge, I would have though. But that's fine. Enemy just dies next turn anyway. Keep the ice wall just in case they don't. Ah, uh, Raps, you can't just draw cards in order to win the game. Uh, deck go brr. Bloat it. Um, I mean, that just gave us a health potion. I may pop that right now. Yeah. Cut that 16 HP back. Mm, 
Rinse and Repeat is the top card of the deck as well. Ooh, there's a What Lies Waiting as well as two redirects. This is a good, good hand already. One, two, three. So What Lies Waiting two times over. Perfect. Five cards left in the deck as well. Should keep in that in mind. Two, three, redirect. 22 next turns. Probably going to be the enough played. Urge, urge. In that, that week should probably go... Uh, the kneecap, rather, should probably also go out here. Coming is 21. We can redirect what I need. Duck next turn. Actually, hang on. If this is blocking for 16 and then that's blocking for one. Okay, yeah, we're actually going to purge the enough as well. Take the extra energy. Nice. Because now we can start with a redirect. Use duck and weave to generate the new draw pile. Uh, this is about to give us a null and void of the next card, so I think that void is already taken care of. Right. And then we play a single soul block. This is what I need isn't going to defend us, no. So we actually do need to play another defend. I mean, I'll purge this and drop the separated soul. Keep perfect in this fight. Got eight Soul Tithe. I probably do want something in the deck that helps me work that down eventually. Okay. Nolan Void definitely wants to go out this turn. Um, I can try and kill the Bloated. It's about to try and make me suffer Haunted 2. I mean, the Bloated is dead when I next cycle anyway, right? So I want two things to die at the same... No, I need specifically the, the Deep to be one of the cards that dies in the next cycle. So I'm playing Tower Shield here. That looks like it. And purge the other two and play Null and Void. Getting us automatically into the next cycle. Simply by discarding enough cards. Um... Actually, I also have to purge the Ice Wall if I'm doing that. That's fine. I'm not going to be blocking next turn. Okay. So we draw into our new deck. The top card of the deck is the Null and Void, which was rigged to specifically be there. Get past the Bane. Oh, now! There, there were enough uh, cards in here that we still need to get past that Bane. Interesting. Um, draw and discard... Pass the what I need. I'm looking honestly here for offense. That said, I know that I removed all the offense from my deck, so it's a strange proposition to be looking for it right now, knowing that it's not there. And that it's not there because I specifically removed it all. Uh, it's all good. Uh, we can generate the new deck cycle and try and go from there. So, Ice Wall, Rinse and Repeat, Purge Ice Wall again, use the Recharge in order to get back a, uh, what I need. Let me use what I need, Sift to pass both of those cards, generate the new deck, kill them, get an Energy Potion, neat. Uh, Stonesmith down there, there's a Sever Soul across from it, double dip, whenever Soul Tithe is reduced, block three, that's not really going to be super relevant for us, I'm probably not even going to run it in the deck, there's Null of Void further up to the north, but, we have a lot of Essence, I kind of want to hit both of these merchants now, so we miss out on that Null and Void, but I could also just go for the Stonesmith, that's not bad either, that gives me the ability to go for both of these upgrade shrines over here. Oh, I like that, actually. So down, down, across, up, up, down, down, across. Miss out on the Blessed Recovery. Totally fine with that. Get the Spell Child. Uh, it's here somewhere. It's actually really appealing. So 
If I wanted to get the ear tier somewhere, it would be going across like that. But then I have to block out the merchant. So that's fine. That's not a bad path. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Black void stone. Thank you. Reroll. Red is also a card. Uh, a thing that exists. Okay. I mean, obviously, I want the black void stone on the, the redirect here, but. Let's consider other options. I mean, popping it into a kneecaps isn't bad. Just get six weak on a target. That can matter one hell of a lot. Uh, recharge, pulling back two cards can matter a hell of a lot for our defense, but I think I just want to make sure that even if I whiff on some of the plays of those in the redirect, that, that we have enough, you know? Uh, the It's here somewhere. I mean, that's just like a better version of the rinse and repeat. Because I don't use my corruption for damage. So it just gives us a specific card. All right. Berserker, Runic Priest. Sorry, Rune Priest and Runic Pillar. This is going to be fine for us. We don't really play zero cost cards. Ice Wall in the opening hand. Sure. Let's Null and Void to begin with. Which of these are the least impactful? Just the ones with statistically the least block on them? That overcharge needs to get out of the deck. I, I keep trying to find ways to utilize it here, and I need extra energy, but it, it just isn't energy positive at the moment. So I, I have to stop using it. Uh... Honestly, keeping that ice wall in hand gives us a lot of different ways to block. Ice wall as a block engine here is oh, it's really, really, really showing its value, you know? Okay. Let's draw a disc up. Okay. I like the kneecaps there. I just don't know if I'm going to get to use them. Redirect. Purge the ice wall. Play duck and weave. Dropping a... Cursed shield, I think, there. Purge the what I need. Dropping a... Soul block. Redirect. Drop that too. Great. Getting so much purge value. Oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, because here I just get to... <clears throat> what Lies Waiting is literally the top card of the deck. I, I was so ready to just go off this turn. That's so rude. Okay, uh, I mean, I can just... I can recharge the Ice Wall, purge that. Then I can It's Here somewhere... the ice wall purge that leave myself with enough energy to play one of the redirects i'm not going to though uh while i was waiting we'll be able to find out block core next turn anyway i think fine i know they're buffing but i think i generate enough defense that i can do this <clears throat> So, we need to null and void as well as double what lies waiting this turn. Do I need to null and void? Yeah, I still need to null and void. Okay. So, null and void gets one of them out. We get the soul block out as well. So, I get what I need out too. Just get past another card, get past that concentrate. We play a What Lies Waiting, purge a Separated Soul, play another What Lies Waiting. <clears throat> now I can purge Ice Wall, recur the Ice Wall, purge the Ice Wall. Getting our block core pretty much sorted. Redirects into another redirect. Enough passes through to a duck and weave, which will drop a kneecaps because I just need the instantaneous single turn block next turn. Nice. Okay. 
Let's take down the one that's ultra buffed itself by this point. We need to discard two cards. I discard the soul block as well as the what I need. The what I need discards a another card for it. Purge into gaining back the ice wall, which I purge in order to get the energy to play the cursed shields. Drop that final card. And honestly, I should just be playing Let's Pray every single time I get it. So I should have done that at the start of the turn, give myself more choices over the cards I leave in hand at the end of the turn, the, over which cards I play as well. Uh, that would be correct. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Tower Shield for the giant block that it apparently means I'll need next turn, or it seems that I'll need next turn. Hmm. Got it. Weaken you. Decreasing coming damage as much as I can. We'll put... Ooh! Actually, just straight up take out the main liner. That's, that's a big decrease in the incoming damage right there. Even get to maintain my perfect. Just one card in this deck that said, you know, deal 100% of your corruption as damage would be reasonable because we often get to this kind of point, but uh, I don't know if I need it, you know. Um, yeah, never mind. Ice Wall's in the next hand. We're totally fine. <laughs> Ice Wall is so good. That secret room really, really changed the face of this game for us. Yeah, just what I need through whatever. Null and Void for the kill. Never mind. Never. Null and Void says deal 100% of your corruption in damage and is at the top of every single one of our cycles of the deck. Uh, yes, this fight. I wonder if I'm prepared for this fight I just totally showed that I am very well prepared for. Hmm. It is a mystery. Okay, we got the other, we got the other draw one as well. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That is to say the other redirect. Uh, purge, purge, purge. Redirect number one. Purge. Purge, purge. Redirect number two. So I can't, I, I just have to hold this and try and use it next turn, I think. Uh, I saw what I need enough. Fine. Triple purge there as well. Need the redirect with enough energy to be able to double play it this turn. Hopefully also block on top of that because yikes. Yeah, that duck and weave is going to be enough block. Redirect. Oh my god. We purge that. Dropping the concentrate. We redirect. We purge the enough. We duck and weave for all of the block. Oh, this is so good. Uh, I mean, I don't have to get the Null and Void into hand this turn. I'm gonna just drop a separated soul there. If we have all of those online in the first cycle and it's round three for us now, okay, come on. That's, that's, that's something. That's something right there. I don't know what it is, but it's something certainly you'd have to imagine. It's here somewhere. Let's get that duck and weave out. Play a little safe here, I think. What I need. And a soul block. If only I had one more thing that would defend me while uh, discarding, I could just play out the null and void. Alas. We'll have to settle. Purging three cards in a single turn, giving you three energy would be so good. I want that uh, pickled hand. Ooh, uh, this one's good too. Hang on. Okay. Purge the ice wall. Recur the ice wall. Purge the ice wall. Let's pray as well. 
Okay. Leaving us with the ability to play an enough. And I'm going to follow that up with another double purge. Leave myself with enough energy to actually play all of our high cost cards. That tower shield's already real good. Uh, I mean, I should leave the soul block in the deck if the tower shield's really good this turn, right? Concentrate, cast shields. Yeah, because then I just intend to play it instead. Uh, Tell you what, I'm not a huge fan of the amount of damage that came in that turn. Yeah, 41. Yikes. Although I do love what we have the ability to do with it. Okay, let's tuck and weave. Uh, I'm gonna discard what I need, because then that allows me to discard another card from the draw. Getting us into the new cycle. Then Ice Wall gets out of here. I recharge to gain the Ice Wall back. I purge the Ice Wall again. I, it's here somewhere to get the Ice Wall back. I purge the Ice Wall again. I purge this final card. And then we watch them all die at the start of the next turn. This is like, I think, the most unique version of this character's deck that I've played so far. Oh. It's so good. Purple Void Stone. Hmm. I mean, another overcharge on the card that gives us three overcharge. Uh, sorry, two overcharge. Three overcharge total. After that, not bad. It's here somewhere. Once it, I mean, so many of my cards in the deck still want an upgrade, right? It's not like any of them are singing out. Oh, I'm, I'm totally happy not to have an upgrade, actually. I'm fine with it. It's, it's bonds as a. Um, just like a foot in the grave as well. I think that's actually still got an opportunity to be valuable at this point. Uh, instead, I'm going to cut the uh, Concentrate out of the deck because I've got that still in there. Damn you, Concentrate. Don't want you at all. Even slightly. Recharge. Did really just get Recharge and Overcharge? Yeah, I play it consistently. As good as it needs to be, I think, for that. I really do like the idea of going for both merchants here, but missing out on an elite is real hard to do, and the path otherwise was kinda wonky. Was it even that wonky? No, it, it was the positioning at the start, I think, that made it wonky for us. Beast of Malice. I'll have to go on the events eventually, but dealing damage to it can increase its already serious damage output. Well, I mean, look, I have just like one turn that deals all of my damage. Okay, Volatile Soul Tax is unleash 50% of your Corruption Soul Tithe 1 Volatile. So we get to 20 or more Corruption really quickly. This would give us the ability every turn for free to deal 10 damage to a target. Dead Man's Drop. Each time your discard is reshuffled, block 10. We intend to build towards triggering this as constantly as possible. Eldritch Blessing, every seventh card played will cost one less energy. We have a little bit of energy crunch, and that would really help us out with playing all the things that we're trying to play. I'm taking Dead Man's Drop because it is exactly the kind of build I'm trying to make. If this build works, Dead Man's Drop will have been incredible. Okay, we got uh, both the redirects in the sand still. Let's do the same thing then. One, two, three, play one. Um, Two, three, play it again. I mean, I do slow play it, right? Yeah, I gotta leave that ice wall in hand if I'm slow playing here, I think. Because I want all of this up before I go through the next cycle. Got the ability to kneecap the enemy this turn too. I like that. So Ice Wall. Bring back the Ice Wall. Purge that Ice Wall again. Draw three. Hang on. This is getting a bit wonky. 
really, really, really wanted Recharge to be one of the cards that I got out of that draw. Uh, fine, I think I leave that redirect. The weakness matters more. All oh, right, I forgot about Pummel. Pummel just deals 30 damage regardless. It doesn't, Pummel doesn't give a heck about anything. So it deals 30 and then the enemy increases their frenzy by one and they hit you for one. So that's why weakening them didn't actually reduce the incoming threat significantly. <sighs> Dang. So null and void our way past a, what I need as well as the soul block. And then the, what I need drops the ice wall. Can recharge to bring back and purge the ice wall. Locks all but four, best I could do. 34. Sure, enough. It's here somewhere, get us back to the ice wall, do it again. Uh, duck and weave. Sure, I'll duck and weave past a separated soul, purge these final two cards, and the next turn we get to generate our new draw pile. And then we're just one draw pile away from the win after that. Yeah. See, it's, we'll attack for 30, then increase frenzy by one and deal two days. So actually, it's not even using its natural attack even slightly here. Um... Okay, I'm gonna just tower shields and then put in a grave, drop the soul block for the rest of my block there. Let's pray as well, actually. Fine. Throw a null and void out. That separated soul is actually legitimately possibly our lethal here. When I say legitimately possibly our lethal, what I mean is it is definitely actually our lethal. But I've been conditioned to use weasel words. There's our sep soul. Okay. There's a second null and void over there. We'd have the ability to immediately upgrade it. We are not holding. Yeah, we're not holding the rigged that we would want for that. Taxidermist and unholy creation. This one. I mean. Hmm. Thank heck I have this uh, to play to immediately get the void out of the hand. We shouldn't need to block for that much in the first cycle, so my giant block cards ought to be safe to discard. Kneecaps doesn't really make too much sense here either. And then I discard that void, so I actually won't have a huge amount of incoming damage this turn. Then I could null and void and purge the rest of my hand here. Sure. So we sift two cards, just get two defense out of there, then purge the rest of the hand. Incoming damage 16 this turn, totally manageable. Easy. We redirect, purge the ice wall. It's here somewhere, getting the ice wall back. Purge the ice wall again. Play one more redirect. So if I double purge this turn, next turn I play redirect, purge a card, redirect... Wait, hang on, is that gonna be enough? No, it's not. I think we're fine. Get up to four energy. So I could redirect, purge two cards, redirect. And then I wouldn't be able to use what lies waiting. So maybe I just put What Lies Waiting into the next draw pile. Why do I need to use it right now? I don't. <clears throat> I just typically want to use it as quickly as I can. It doesn't mean I have to. Um, purge the enough. 
For this final block, I'm going to use the recharge to get back the ice wall and then purge that because that's literally like the same as the cursed shield, except. Uh, ooh, do I want to get a couple cards ahead? Yeah. A couple cards ahead is pretty good. Unfortunately, we still now have a Bane left in the... Ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, that's going to increase the incoming damage next turn pretty substantially. Even if I drop that what I need. I mean, that still only gets a single Bane out of the draw pile there. Oh, yikes. I mean, maybe I use Separated Soul here. What am I saving all of my my energy for, right? Actually, I can even just play the Void and then put, yeah. Play the Void and put Separated Soul, 22 incoming damage. Never mind, that's way better. Okay. Love the access we have to this What Lies Waiting right now. I think I just double play the What Lies Waiting. The only problem is they're getting a Bane in hand and being pretty sad about having that. So the way to get out ahead of that would be recharging a Null and Void into this hand. Using that first. Getting that out of the draw. I mean, it goes to the discard and then I have to draw it again anyway, so... <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I really just saved myself there. Alright. While I was waiting for a bunch of damage. Got him! Uh, purge. Two more cards easily. Use the Null and Void to... Oh my god, get past all of the Banes in the deck? Okay, now we're, now we're happy again. Okay, pop a foot in the grave to get past what I need, I guess. And that's just one more card. Uh... I mean, we get into the new cycle next turn as well. So feel free to resummon as much as you'd like. And then... Damage. Pop the Null and Void first. Make sure we get past all the Banes again. Uh, recharge and do it again. Sure. That's what I need. Soul block. And accidentally clicked another card there. This is now all just about drawing until we win. I mean, it's always been about that, but I'm just so satisfied with it. I was really, really, really pleased. There we go. Take all that damage. Except Sol, there's already a pretty good attack. Prevents the resummon, and then we just kill the unholy creation with what? Drawing and discarding. I mean, like, this, this is the threat. Okay, it's possible they end up turning around and dealing damage to me. So, you know what? I'm going to kill that one there. You can have your horrific appearance. That's fine. Uh... Purge that, too. Because if we find any Recur, we... Uh, actually, no, we just removed all of our corruption, so Recur does nothing. Yeah, there we go. Look at all that damage we don't do. Um, that said, you know what a do do. Gets a hell of a lot of cards out of the deck for the sake of getting to our next cycle as quickly as possible. Purge, 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 and that'll do it. We also stalled out long enough there for the spell to come back. Maybe not intentional, but definitely appreciated. Okay. An extra soul type matters. Gain corruption equal to its uh, its cost. I mean, we're losing four on this almost all of the time instead of gaining four. That's a delta of eight. That's pretty significant. Is there any card that I picked up recently I'd prefer to upgrade though? I mean, having these have purge gain a corruption on them it's pretty good, because a lot of the times we draw more than we want. Uh, 
That said, you know, they are attacks and we get corruption by not having attacks played. And sometimes, I mean, would we play them? Mm, no, not really. No, 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 no. That is a totally different deck, Ryan. Don't, don't get it twisted. Veiled Watcher. They become stronger as I draw out weakness cards, which they give them, uh, give me my, uh, themselves rather, sorry. Um, I'm excited about it though, because we should be able to kind of dunk on them from doing that. I really don't like that we got the Void in the opening hand there though. That's a big challenge to how I wanted to play this. Mmm, good, good. Let's start getting our redirects out. Mm -hmm. All right. So we draw one card from the top. No, we don't draw one card from the top of the deck next turn unless I purge this redirect. They're both using Tormented Whisper. Expels a random card in your deck or discard pile and replaces it with two Banes. Oh, okay. That's my recharge. That matters. That's my Cursed Shield. That kind of matters as well. Please don't draw Banes. Please don't draw Banes right now. Okay, we didn't draw any Banes. Great. That means the Null and Void is going to have the ability to get us past most of the Banes we otherwise would have drawn. It's going to be huge Bane. Bane, get those out of there. It's here somewhere. Get back the Null and Void. Uh, use that again. Getting past all the Banes. Then get past a Separated Soul and then what I need. And then the what I need gets past a Soul Block. Put in the grave for a single defend. Then double purge. I need energy to fuel my future turns. Okay. It's exactly the kind of turn I really didn't want to have to have. I was hoping that I would get either of these cards here and be totally fine this turn, but this is... Not ideal. Hmm. 20 damage. Yikes. Do I actually just cop 20 here? I think I do. So we cop 20 on that turn because getting both of those redirects into play means that now our play is super simple. It's literally just defend until we win. And that, I, I can get my head around defend until we win. That's, I, I got no problem with defend until we win. Grave past a what I need and then soul block the Alright. And we get down to only taking one damage this turn. I'm totally comfortable with that. More we'll banes in that discard pile now, but we'll duck and weave. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. I mean, look, the enemy's already dead, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter past this point. Oh, thank heck. That is to say, the, the battle progress is done, so the, the, I don't need the one extra damage in order to save our lives here. Get another victory and another upgrade points. Sifting two cards is just a faster way to get through the deck. Remove up to two weaknesses from the deck. I actually kind of like the weaknesses in this deck. I may end up including more in the future, right? Go to that curse item instead. It's possible. I'm going to take the 500 essence and three souls. Because this soul collector could just give us execution order. When an enemy is brought below 50%, apply three weak and three vulnerable to them. Corrupted heart. Whenever you draw a weakness, rage 25%. Rage only affects attack cards. So that's the reason we've been avoiding Rage. There's a green Void Stone. That's what I had been asking for. Each time you fill a Void Stone bar, heal 15 HP. It's way too late to take that. Um, this is also the last opportunity I have to actually spend any of my souls for value, save hitting the final boss with them. 
So execution order, I feel like I take. If nothing else, it's three turns of weakness on an enemy. The vulnerability is, yeah, they suffer more damage. So they actually will suffer more damage to all effects from that, I think. I wonder if the uh, the the power, the, the, the buff rather, is still going to deal more damage to them. Maybe that's uh, something we keep an eye on here. As much as I want that green void stone, that random artifact sure is a random artifact. The first time you'll reduce to zero HP, remove this item and heal back to 30%. In case of emergency, break glass. <laughs> totally fine with that. Uh, return. Return a chosen card from your discard to your hand. No, I just need the ability to cycle through my deck as quickly as possible. Let's pray is exactly the card we want. Cursed item. If I took the cursed item, it'd be one more curse, right? I get total. It's here somewhere I can't even use right now. Sure. What do you got? Okay. So every third cast of our spell is just going to be free. This is this is exactly what I actually would have wanted. Um, do we take the void? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We take the void because we're taking the item. Go up to the north. Not the secret room. Go to the merchants. That Wither Shield is really, really appealing right now. Footwork's not awful. Wither Shield literally is just for the slow and weak. Like, I mean, 14 blocks also want it, but I, I need some access to slow, and I have none right now, and it's scaring me a lot. I have to take that Wither Shield. Self-inflicted Agony, I love it, but do I ever get to use it? How many attacks do I even have? I have none in the active deck. I collected two flesh and bloods. It's theoretically possible one of those could end up going into the deck in order to be a finisher. With like Death Strike constantly happening. Because what? After we play our. Uh, where are you? After we play our What Lies Waiting, we have eight soul tithes, right? And I reduce one soul tithe with the foot in the grave and sometimes with what I need. So I could keep my death strike high enough to consistently act, sorry, my threshold high enough rather to consistently activate the self-inflicted agony. Uh, and then death strike says your death strike is equal to or higher than the energy cards cost. So two and two would be fine. It'll trigger plus one times will be reduced by the energy cards cost. Uh, okay. So every second turn, I would be able to play a... A, per, a, a flesh and blood for two times corruption. Is that anything? I guess my corruption gets to pretty reasonable amounts. But... Enough for this? It has to be. It has to be. Okay, so here's the reason that uh, that this has to be added to the deck. In fact, I may even need to look into more Soul Tithe removal. Double Dip's probably not right, uh, really viable here, though. Shadow Utility could be. It's a slow and weak. actually wish I'd had that upgraded. Purge Revolt or Smash. Mm. So, the reason I think I need to do this is because this is going to work against every enemy except for the Void. And then we die to the Void because it won't work against the Void. We The damage that we scale is... Or, or rather, the damage that we deliver is non-scaling. This is just 8 damage per card on a cycle of the deck. Which is grand. Really enjoy that. I probably end up taking separated... So uh, it's discard to gain the corruption. Maybe I'll leave that in the deck. Um, but against an enemy that has 2,000 HP, we would have to cycle the deck so many times that I would already die to the enemy's overwhelming damage. So self-inflicted agony has to be part of my response to that. I don't think opportunity is, though. Okay. I don't think I use it before in the uh, before the final fight. I'll say that though. 
Also, the final fight literally may just be decided based on potions, so... I mean, health potion gets used now, anyway. Hmm, there's a redirect in the opening hand already. I could foot in the grave my way past... No, 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 We use... Null and Void gets past both of the... Weaknesses in the deck there. Drop a separated soul. What I need is more effective when played. But... So when, it, when it's played, it costs us one card. That's, you know, I have to draw it itself. Uh, and then it draws a card. And it also gets rid of three cards from the top of the deck, right? So it's uh, three positive when we do that. I don't have to draw it in order to discard it from here. And yet I still get to discard a card. So it's one positive uh, if, if I discard it from here. That said, I find a lot of difficulty in actually finding three correct cards to discard, which is why a lot of the time I end up discarding it early, just so that I can get past everything else. Could be able to play both redirects this turn. So this turn I have 5 energy to begin with, 20 incoming damage. That's not what I was looking for. Just got discard. Um, I'm going to get rid of that one. Play a enough. Then am I going to double purge here, really? Yikes. Get to four, four out of six for the next turn. Doesn't seem great. Mm. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Don't love this. Do not love this turn. Uh, we now get to redirect, redirect, purge two cards, play a What Lies Waiting. Probably get the second redirect out this turn as well. Sure. Mm-hmm. Purge. One, two. Play that as well. Right, and then with that void in hand, actually, I don't have the ability to purge enough cards here. So I'm gonna pray. Great. Now I have enough cards in hand to actually get through all of the redirects as well. What I need also gets rid of that void, and then purge, purge, redirect, purge, 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 purge redirect. 33 incoming damage next turn. We've got a decently defensive set. And I say decently defensive. Like, every card in this deck that isn't those is defensive. Most of them, at least, right? Some of them glue that gets us two defensive cards or gets the defensive cards back, right? So, this is more than enough, right? This is basically as good as it could be for us. Let's duck und fief. 59 incoming next turn. Oh. To a random enemy for each card. Yeah, okay, so the, the immune enemies are still targetable with random effects like that. Uh oh. Uh okay, I'm gonna use a null and void over here, getting rid of Yikes. Um, I think I need that Ice Wall this turn. I think I need to play it. Uh, let's get rid of what I need and Separated Soul, then get rid of the Ice Wall off the back of that. Pull back the... I, I actually can't even... I can't play the Ice Wall. I have to purge it. 42 incoming damage this turn. No? Okay, we're no longer vulnerable. Thank heck. Thank you, Deodem. It's desperately necessary there. Yikes at this next turn as well, though. Okay, you've at least got your weakness now. I'm going to pop weakness on you too. Make a match. I don't want to keep it enough for the next turn. Duck 
can weave our way past that, generate a new draw pile, get rid of those voids before they happen to come out into the hand. Actually, I'm just going to keep the tower shield for the next turn. We're finally going to get one of the steeds down, though. Soon. Okay. Tower shields. I think I take 20 damage this turn. Wait, your gaze of deathing, yeah, fear and vulnerable. It doesn't matter that much. 69 gets the kill on you easily. Fine. Use null and void, take that kill. What I need, separated soul, that discards an ice wall for us. Purge cursed shield, get back the ice wall, and then purge that. We take the 20 damage this turn. Now there's only one target remaining on the field, so it becomes a lot simpler from his here on out. For us from here on out. Uh, the the black coach has also got like uh, damage, so <laughs> you're going to start getting weakened, I think. You are immune to all damage and debuffs right now, though, so not going to weaken you yet. Just going to have it be a lofty future goal, you know. Okay. That null and void is our kill already. So let's take that. Separated soul is really where we want our damage to be coming from right now. When it reaches three, your spell's cooldown would be reset. I don't want to use my spell again until the end of the fight, though. I could leave that ice wall in hand this turn. Or I could purge it and then just bring it back. Not a bad play. 192. Yeah, if we just had vulnerability set up, we'd already have the kill. Okay. Let's purge ice wall. Return ice wall. Then I'll... What I need to get past all these cards, put in the... Oh, nice, 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 nice. Actually, we get rid of probably separated soul here, to be honest. Then put in the grave to get into the next hand. And then I'm going to immediately realize that separated soul would have been lethal if I didn't do what I just did. Good play, Raps. Well done. Hmm. I mean, look, it's just Ice Wall. It's all it has to be. Get rid of every card there, and loiter. 351. Good enough. Two upgrade points. I want my defenses to be... better. I mean, if they give us corruption by defending, like, oh, purge, delay block five, that actually matters as well. I do purge that card a lot. Hmm. Flesh and Blood actually wants to go in the deck as well, and it will be purged the majority of the times at the start of the fight. Oh, this rebounds. Oh god, Shadow Utility is really good as well. Alright, Shadow Utility and Flesh and Blood are getting an upgrade. They're going to be in the deck. Uh, we will cut a Cursed Shield for the Shadow Utility. Self-Inflicted Agony also needs to go in here now. I think that's going to be a relevant part of some of these enemy kills. Shadow Utility goes in too. Flesh and Blood goes in as well. And then we need to cut two more cards. Ah, I can't cut those voids, apparently. Rude. Um, I wonder if foot in the grave is a bad idea at this point. 
because they don't have enough cards that benefit from being discarded. I'm going to try that, missing two Cursed Shields. Where is my defense in this deck right now, right? So it's Ice Wall bouncing, it's Soul Block uh, getting discarded, it's enough getting naturally played, it's Tower Shields getting discarded. Uh, and then it's two Cursed Shields? And the Duck and Weave? I mean, Duck and Weave's really good. I think we're okay. Maybe we're not. First card played each turn costs two less. <laughs> we're in an energy crunch right now, so yep. 100% uh, rage the following turn. Doesn't matter to us. Stealth and full energy. That is really good. Skip the enemy's first turn. Gives us the ability to set up a redex uh, a lot easier. Play block six at the start of the turn. So we're probably going to go for the blessing of efficiency as well as the blessing of stealth here. Let's go for the efficiency first. Uh, her minion's going to consistently apply poison when they aren't keeping their queen safe. And that's completely fine because we're going to have the ability to purge the poison ourselves. They have the ability to clear debuffs and gain high amounts of fortitude. That's fine with me too. The only problem is they're scaling. Let's try it. There's the redirect in the opening hand two times. Keep the ice wall, purge everything else. Sure. Look, if you're going to gift me the perfect opening, <laughs> best believe I'm going to take it. Oh, wow. Now that is an opening. Purge the ice wall. Gain the ice wall back. Purge it one more time. A single cursed shield. Put in the grave our way through a... I mean, it's probably a void in something else at least here. Let's go void. And then what I need. And then the what I need gets past the separated soul. We're still holding our Let's Pray here. We have the ability to cast it two times in a single turn, but right now, we want to make sure that it makes us resilient to bad turns. So we're not going to be able to get the overcharge from that recharge right there. Um, Self-inflicted agony, what lies waiting, and redirect are left in the deck. God, that's such a, uh, such a rough draw. I wonder if I just go off this turn. I think I do. Okay. That redirect won't be duped if I try and play it first. Haunted. I mean, we're going to be purging more cards, hopefully, here. Drop. Those two easily. Self-inflicted agony gets out of here. I don't need that until the next cycle. Where am I finding the defense? Let's go on purge. Soul Tide in the next hand. Okay. Let's recharge, gaining back the ice wall, purge the ice wall. I think we plan on playing that tower shield at this point. Okay, so if I purge one more card, we should remove the haunted. There we go. So now we can play the What Lies Waiting two times over. No reason to not play it yet. Okay. Let's use the Let's Pray again. There's a What I Need. Uh, I can trigger that just by discarding it. More than happy to do so. Anything else I trigger on a discard? Yeah, there's this. Reducing our Soul Tithe by one. I guess I do want to start reducing our Soul Tithe. So sure. Now I have two Recurs in hand. So I'm going to drop the Ice Wall into the discard pile now and pull it back. Purge it. Pull it back again. Purge it one more time. Now I just need to get this final redirect out. And any weaknesses that need happen. But it looks like we don't have weaknesses that need happen right now.
And then let's get past the void and I'm going to lead the soul block in the next hand just in case. Get past the separated soul instead and turn. Okay, good. We're set up. I mean, we haven't got self-inflicted agony out there yet, but with as set up as we can. Oh my God. I need my phone to stop hearing my voice. It's it's really disconcerting. It's It's happened to me a lot of times recently. And there has been at least one time where I just heard it off in the corner, responding to something that I was saying. Apparently it heard me say, hey, Google in a way. Uh, by the way, sorry to all of you who just had that happen to your devices as well. Uh, and just the loud, very scaredness that I had to cut out of the episode. It was, oh, please no. Very terrified. 37 incoming damage next turn, but we get our deck cycle. We've also gotten enough in the next draw, so it's not awful. Could be a lot worse. One weaver down. Don't love this. So we can get out of vulnerability with two purges this turn easily. It's here somewhere. Obviously has the appeal of Has the appeal of getting an ice wall. So if I did null and void, it's here somewhere. I could I could get like a decent amount of block out of the ice walls there. Sure, I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna try and kill this weaver. We'll start killing the weaver at least. Okay, and then the discard from this is. Ice Walk, yeah, Ice Walk can be either of them, that's fine. And I guess of what I need. Get past a Sepsol. Okay, and then I purge enough, I get it's here somewhere, pulls back the Ice Wall, I purge the Ice Wall. Play a single Cursed Shield, we get 20 incoming damage this turn. Look, it's significantly less than we were going to take otherwise. I really need a weaken on the mainline uh, Queen of Ages, though. I've been neglecting that for too long. That tower shield looks really useful this turn, too. I think I need to leave Ice Wall in the deck for the ability to cycle back to it consistently. I worry what happens if I don't have it. <sighs> it does re sure does reduce threat to zero, though. What can I do outside of that this turn? 16, 30, 46. Can I even play the Flesh and Blood this turn? So it'd be... Recharge is energy neutral because we purge the ice. We play Duck and Weave. Just getting rid of one of those cards, giving us the ability to cycle. That Weaver is probably going to die as a result of that. This creature is then destroyed. <laughs> I mean, the creature is already pretty weak. Um, hang on. Right, so energy neutral, this costs us an energy. We're down on one energy. We have one, two, three, three cards remaining in hand. Uh, we use the power. We have three cards remaining in hand. We draw to our next cycle. Um, then we use the tower shields. That takes us to a total of 56 block. Can we use the tower shield after that? Three cards in hand. Three cards in hand, including the tower shield. And we have one energy left, so I purge two cards and then play it. Okay. Recharge the ice wall, play that. Use the dock and weave to get past a... I mean, I'm going to be purging the cards anyway, so let's get past the cursed shield. Then we use the power. Okay. Reduce my soul tide, I guess. Shouldn't have discarded that because I'm going to be purging that. Oops. And purge those two cards. Play out a tower shield. Take two damage.
Best defense I think I was capable of generating there. Okay. That ice wall is in the draw pile, so I would have to use what I need in order to discard it, in order to pull it back with the it's there somewhere and then play it again. I uh, don't know if that's really what I want to do. Just sift past the void. Queen of Ages is getting closer to lethal. Closer every day. 48 incoming damage as well. I don't like that. With the vulnerability tracking. So we play in enough. Purge one more card. Do I pull back a what I need and then purge that too? No. I pull back a shadow utility and then I play that on you. Purge it afterwards. That just saved so much damage for the next turn. I, I, it's my, I haven't put the wither shield. That's what's. Wither Shield. I can't believe I forgot about the Wither Shield. I'm actually quite seriously concerned. <laughs> well, not concerned, concerned, but like, wow. How dare I do that in that way? Uh, I really wish I could draw the top card of the deck here. I can draw the top card of the deck here if I discard the... that one. Right, and then discard a Void. It... Doesn't trigger its soul stone, actually. No, I don't discard the top card. Of, don't get the top card of the deck, though, rather. And... 25 is not awful. I want to get the Queen of Ages below half HP here. That shadow utility is better than the kneecaps this turn. Okay. Merge the ice wall. We'll be bringing that back. Don't worry. That separated soul wants to stay in hand as well as that flesh and blood because I think we're just killing next turn with the two of those combined. So we'll drop those two. I mean, Foot of the Grave I can't even cast here because I don't have enough cards in the draw pile that I want to lose. Unless... No. No, 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 no. We, we, can, we can play this slow and safe. Yeah, Death Strike is two. We should be able to do this pretty comfortably next turn. It's the thing we've been setting up to for a while. I mean, that's already lethal by itself, but this is also lethal by itself. Two times over. Sunburst of 500 damage that turn if I desperately needed it. Okay, start the fight with stealth and full energy. I think a health potion is called for here. High frenzy creatures that get weaker the more you attack them. Even if you kill all at once, the unending swarm can still have more reinforcements in store for you. Yikes. Nightmare Steed is shield wall access here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So let's let's modify the deck a little bit because we still have a managed deck. A cursed shield that I wanted to cut for the sake of a wither shield that I wanted to add instead. I wonder if I use a crippling potion here. Just get myself a couple of safe turns at the start of the fight. I think I need to. I mean, they're more impactful in this fight than they are in the void fight. Two of those in the Void Fight bias, like, one turn at the start. I mean, the enemy's stealthed at the first turn anyway. If I succeed here. So it buys this turn when the enemy isn't even attacking. I could just use all of my Crippling Potions for this fight and be really, really fine with it. I think I have to. Okay. Alright, Spider Nest. 
It's one hell of an endless swarm right there. Okay, I didn't get the cards I needed yet. Uh, let's keep looking, I guess. Uh, let's use Null and Void to... Well, Null and Void siphoned through four, uh, three cards, right? This siphoned through... Sorry, this siphoned through four cards. This siphoned through four cards as well, and it costs one less. Yeah, it's a lot easier for us to play. Um, drop both voids. Then we are discarding cards from the deck, so... You, like, set soul. That weakness doesn't make any sense anymore because of how aggressive we're currently being. Or can currently be. Okay. Then we use this power. Self-inflicted agony and redirect are both in this hand. Great. Um, I'm going to get past the null and void. Drop that soul block. Leave the duck and weave for the next hand. Even if I purge a card here, I can only play one redirect this turn. So I think I self-inflicted agony and then purge the other two. Huh? What'd that just do? Huh? My brain just stopped working there for a second. And I just purged the wrong thing entirely. One, two, three. I'm supposed to play that, not purge that. Make the exact same additions and subtractions. Go into the fights. Okay, that's a different draw. Huh. I'd done that, like, a, a while ago, and it, it wasn't drawing a different draw, so I thought it was, uh, I thought they were seeded now. Guess not. Well, I apologize for the, uh, for the, for the possibility of uh, this being considered cheating, effectively. Um, not really my intention, but, oops. Drop a null and void, play the redirect, leave a what I need for play. No, I'm just going to purge the what I need. Get a void out of the draw, play the redirects, and drop a null and void. Do I even want to hear a power in turn one here? Yes, I do. More control over the deck. That's fine. That's definitely fine with me. Uh, I mean, that's going to be purge fuel here. Get the separated soul out. Nice. Not a bad opening turn. I mean, the enemies actually have such low HP that our redirects are going to be significant here. <laughs> like, significant, significant. Start out with what lies waiting. Okay. Purge an ice wall, already getting to the impact that I wanted. Uh, let's purge a couple more cards here, just for funsies. Mm -hmm. Proactively reduce my soul tide there if I wanted to. I'm not going to. Nice. Uh, so I can play everything except for self-inflicted agony this turn. I'm about to reduce my soul tithe too significantly. Right? Threshold four. It's only on discard or purge though. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I could try and null and void my way through the deck a little bit. No, 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 no. Ryan, getting too tricky with it. Just handle what you have in front of you. And self-inflicted agony may not even be necessary here. Regardless of whether or not it's necessary, though, it still contributes. Okay. Self-inflicted agony into what I need to try and get rid of. Void, soul block, separated soul. Now if I play that, put in a grave, I already lose... Too much of my block. Sorry, that is to say I lose too much of my soul tithe to be able to play anything else. With the Death Strike. Death Strike's not going to matter. Literally, the reason that I wanted to play the, the Self-Inflicted Agony here was just to get it out of the deck cycle. So sure, let's actually get rid of 
this recharge and ice wall both being at the top of the new deck that is perfect as far as i'm concerned now die and that's still gonna let them all respawn as well <laughs> what <laughs> i haven't even got anyone to null and void Um, yeah, I guess I hold. It's just a really good hand fighting these enemies. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, our soul type is too low now as well. You have the ability to instantly kill a target with the separated soul. I mean, instantly killing a target with the separated soul is not a bad play right now. This one has extra frenzy. Okay. I guess I'll continue lowering my soul tithe for a bit. Uh, purge an ice wall, return it back to hand, purge another card, and then I can null and void two cards out of the deck. Yeah, like our next cycle is the win though. So I need to stop being so worried, I think. Okay, 40 damage incoming, but lethal outgoing. Okay. I am pretty worried about the void. Uh, I'm just going to throw a red void stone onto the air tier somewhere. Is there any giant modification we need to make at this point for survivability's sake? Put the potions in, obviously. I had something that gave me like a very small amount of soul tithe. Maybe, maybe that opportunity is worth enough. Maybe it is actually. That would be cutting. Kneecaps is two turns worth of weak. Shadow utility is just one turn worth of slow and weak. Separated Soul is half of our finisher. Enough is actually like a real huge supporting unit for us. Flesh and Blood. If I cut the Flesh and Blood, this, the opportunity is a lot easier to use. I shouldn't have upgraded the... I shouldn't have taken and upgraded the Flesh and Blood. I should have just used the opportunity instead. Twice as many death strike triggers. How do you turn that down? Because it increases our soul tithe by four every single time we play it, but then we like cycle the deck and we decrease our soul tithe by three ish per average deck. My big thing is I over generate defense as well. Fine. We'll make that cut. That substitution I wonder if that means double dip is worth something to us no no all right manage the deck as best we can let's go into the fight we do know going into this fight I'm gonna hey, repeatedly say it because we do know this deck is not good at scaling. It's just not. It's just, it was never going to be. Two. I may just want to run out Null and Void this turn. Pass over the Self-Inflicted Agony as well. One of the big reasons to hit the Null and Void this turn is cycling down the deck to get the What Lies Waiting more likely to be our draw. As well as just getting rid of some of the cards that wouldn't be useful for us. Um, hmm. Which of these are the least useful for us right now? Opportunity. Okay, 
So we get a free turn here as well. These are the stealth that we started off with. Redirect, redirect. Then throw out shadow utility, shadow utility. Or do I just use it once this turn? Hmm. We should be using the Let's Pray every single turn, though. What is the benefit from going for a giant What Lies Waiting this turn? Set up? But I'm already set up. Recur card, gain equal to its cost. Uh, I mean, I could recur the self-inflicted agony. Purge these two, play this. Get self-inflicted agony, purge this, play the self-inflicted agony. But then the, the slow and weak on the enemy is really, really underwhelming. But at the same rate, we've got Ice Wall and Recharge in the next hand. We should already be like a hyper well defender of that turn anyway. So yeah, maybe sure we just use the rest of the setup this turn. We're also going to get into the new draw bar this turn as well. Yeah. By going what lies waiting. Uh, let's pop a null and void out there. Get past those two void cards as well as some other cards in the deck naturally. Get past opportunity to cycle as well, I think. Uh, oh, the enemy is using fury this turn. They're not actually attacking again this turn. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Um... Drop the ice wall. Draw a bunch of cards. Scarlet Purge to reduce Soul Tithe by one. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I could just put it in the grave, get us in the new draw pile. Actually, purge those two cards, getting us in the new draw pile. Purge, sift one, draw one, discard one. Happens after the sift. Hang on. There might... Is this... Is there an infinite here? Draw three, discard three. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So it's about sifting more cards than we use. That's never part of it. That's never part of it. That's never part of it. use the ability again, but I just curated my hand so I can use it later to curate my hand again. Let's get rid of that soul block. Use what I need. How much soul tide do I have? Six? Okay. Um, so now I don't want to reduce the... I mean... Maybe I attack this turn. Can't discard. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Use the ability again. So we now have enough pieces in hand. Right? But our soul tithe is low, but I can use opportunity to try and pump that right now. How many more discards can I honestly get, though? So every time I cycle the deck... Right, hang on. Redirects. The next time your discard is reshuffled, a random enemy will suffer damage equal to this value. Eight. That's... I don't think that's correct. Next time your discard is... Re yeah. They'll suffer damage equal to this value per card. But because we're shuffling so few of the cards, because we're holding so many cards in hand, this is always going to be a kind of, like, limited strategy. I shouldn't really expend all of my resources trying to get it to go off.
I'm going to leave the Shadow Utility in hand for the next turn as well. I have to use that literally just with Soul Tie. Purge these two, Null and Void. Okay. Nice. I mean, it's still a good turn. Don't get me wrong. I mean, look. A free Null and Void at the start of the turn. It's nothing to turn our nose up at. Skip past. Separated Soul. Definitely as well still. Soul Block Shore for the extra corruption. We have an opportunity in the hand. Not bad. I'm going to... Get too slow and too weaken on you. I'm gonna extend that with kneecaps. It's a lot of damage this uh, opportunity is ready to do based on the death strike we have. Do it. Just guess I can weaken this turn instead then. Yeah, because they lose three from each stack, so they'll lose all of their slow, but they'll keep their weaken for the next turn, where they're still attacking. Nice. And then Wither Shield's a great opening here. Uh, I could try and single defend. Hang on. Let's put in the grave, get past the Cursed Shield and recharge, or... They don't have draw discard this turn. Okay, I'm going to get past these two. And play it here somewhere. Getting an ice wall, purging the ice wall. I do want to get overcharge out on the board. What is my block plan otherwise next turn? It's got to be the tower shield, I guess. Sure, I'll leave that. I mean, look, 700 damage over the enemy so far. I thought this was not going to happen. I didn't think we were going to get even close. They're, like, as soon as they get to half HP, they have vulnerability on them as well. Which makes a lot of the following turns a lot simpler as well. Uh, our soul tithe at the moment, hide this panel, is 7. Okay, I don't think I need to worry about reducing or increasing my soul tithe being a problem for us. Let's get rid of the Sept Soul as well as the block. Use a duck and weave here. Enemy is using Fury this turn, so kneecaps and shadow utility want to stay in the deck. Let's get rid of that card. Recharge. Actually, I can pull a card back into hand this turn if I really wanted to. What do I benefit from putting back into hand this turn? I mean, opportunity. It's never a bad time for that, I don't think. Sure. Let's discard the opportunity. And it's here somewhere. And enough. Didn't want to draw the ice wall. We recharge the... I mean, it's here somewhere. as a significant amount of extra damage on the opportunity if we recharge that, but... Double up that opportunity. Leave the ice wall in hand for the next turn. Yeah, I want that to be at the bottom of the new recycle. I also don't use the let's pray this turn as a result. Okay. At least we're back to five energy this turn. Uh, so shadow utility. Shadow utility two times in a row. Significant reduction of income. I mean, with a shield. With a shield matters here too. Shadow utility does want to be in the next cycle as well. Whereas kneecaps doesn't have to be. So shadow, shadow. And then we use foot in the grave to generate the new draw pile. Can manually get rid of the worst ones here. Obviously, Sep Soul is one for a while. Soul block two. That Wither Shield is nice. I think I have to keep that. Sadly. 
that's that's fine. I mean, that 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 eliminates my need to hold the kneecaps, right? Okay. I really want to play the null and void as well. We'll have the ability to hit returns. Okay, it's fine. So we null and void. And my soul tie at the moment is 10. Okay, so I'm happy to reduce that, but do I want to play that card to reduce that? Probably not. Get rid of the single large block cards left in the deck. I'll probably purge this one, try and get some extra energy back because I'm feeling real, real low on that. Enemies about to get to half HP. In fact, after this draw, they get back. Uh, they get two half HP rather. So what does that mean for us? That means now and next turn are our times to attack. So that means I probably actually pop the ice wall itself next turn. Uh, I also want this opportunity in the next cycle, if at all possible. I may have the ability just to play opportunity a bunch of times this turn. In fact, I do. Hit that opportunity. Let's bring back the same one again. Do it one more time. Let's recharge. Get back the same opportunity again. Use that there. And then duck and weave, generating a new draw pile, but also blocking us for 10 and 16 at the same time. We'll drop a soul block. Uh, yeah, this uh, this this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. I found what I needed in order to support the scaling here. I couldn't be prouder. That was one hell of a run. Oh my god. Every impossible victory I have has just amplified my love of this game. I... I'm so excited by this game. Uh, Knife in the Dark, Masochist, Seven Soul. Let's put Knife in the Dark there because uh, we undervalued it before. It wasn't necessarily any part of this run, but we undervalued it before. And now we've uh, given it some value, at least with that mastery there. For the moment, though, my name's been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Vault of the Void. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves anywhere near as much as I have. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content of this game, past, present, and future, as well as the Steam Store page where you can go in order to pick up the game. If you have not picked up the game, you're, oh, sorry, if you have... Uh, bought the game off of Steam. Uh, it, this is an independently developed game, so things like leaving reviews on the Steam Store page are very, very valuable. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.